the another science topic that is tomato flu. The context that you see recently in Kerala, some of the cases were uh, detected, uh, which they identified as a tomato flu. And as these cases were detected, the neighboring states, Kerala and Karnataka, uh, increased their visit uh, on the moment of the people, those are coming from Kerala to these particular states, so that the spread can be uh, contained. If the people, those are showing symptoms, will be stopped at the border itself, so that these states will not get affected. Uh, the spread will not come to these states also. The, uh, the point here is, what is tomato flu? The tomato flu is also viral infection. The tomato flu is also a viral infection. Okay, the pathogen is virus. And uh, as the name says, why we have named the name called you know, tomato. The tomato is the name that is given to the shape of the, the given symptoms. And second thing is the color of that particular symptom. So the shape and the color almost resembles the, the vegetable called as a tomato. And they are calling, you know, started calling it as a tomato flu. Okay. And the, that means the people affected with this particular disease, they st started showing symptoms of this type. Okay, so the <clears throat> next thing, the tomato flu, whether this tomato flu is really, you know, how, what is the origin of this tomato flu? As of now, doctors are also clueless and all the immunogenists are also clueless with respect to what is the origin of this tomato flu. But some people are guessing it as, the predicting it as, this is the after effects after effects of people affected with chicken gunia or maybe dengue, right? So people got affected with chicken gunia or dengue. Once they cured with the, you know, the, with this disease, then later on the next, you know, after effects, the people are started showing these kind of symptoms and they are calling it with another name called as a tomato flu. Because why they are linking it to these two specific diseases is because it is almost mimicking what kind of the symptoms of these, you know, chicken gunia and dengue are almost similar to the tomato flu. Okay. So that's why, you know, they started, uh, you know, the ascribing it to it may be the poster, but it may be, but it is not confirmed. It is, but that means as of now, nobody knows what is the reason, how, you know, what is the origin of this particular viral disease. Okay. Next, whom does it affect generally? It is affecting only the children and that too, also the people aged less than five. People aged less than five, only those people are showing this, you know, symptoms of this particular disease. Next, what are the symptoms? As we can see that there are rashes, skin irritations, dehydration problem, continuously they are feeling thirsty, right? And the, the next level of, you know, the symptoms can be all these things, right? All these disease, you know, the symptoms. And in the, some extreme cases, there might be change in the color of legs and hands also, the whole leg and hand. So these are the general common symptoms and it is affecting only the children, right? And uh, what is the cure? Again, for uh, like other disease, this cure is also a self-limiting one, self-limiting one. If you leave it to the immune system, automatically the given disease will be cured, okay? And as of now, there is no specific drug, okay? There is no specific drug. Like in any of the cases of the flu, flu means anything that uh, an infection causes because of the virus is simply called as a flu, okay? Flu, the tomato fever is also contagious. So contagious means that, you know, the contagious means from human to human, there is a possibility of spreading, okay? And this possibility of spreading is like the monkey pox. Here also, the two individuals need to touch or maybe the something like COVID-19, if you are using the same utensils that were used by the people affected with the tomato flu, those people will also may there is a, you know those people will also may get affected with the disease. So that means uh, yeah, it may not be highly contagious, but still it is contagious. So as it is contagious, there is a need to key, you know keep the people in the isolation. That means children in the isolation, uh, so that spread from one children to another children can be prevented. And uh, another thing is, as it is a self-limiting one, to find the cure in the you know, faster pace, it is essential that given, you know, the children, the infected children should not scratch these blisters, right? 
the blisters mean these are you know the red identified zone these are called as a blisters so these blisters do create some kind of you know the irritation sometime if not even then it cannot be scratched if it is scratched then you automatically the intensity of the disease might be increased okay clear so as of now there are no reported fatality you know fatal case fatality associated with this tomato flu going ahead keep do updating whether if at all there is fatality and whether there is any specific that that will be advised by the icmr and another thing is whether you know whether the doctors could able to find what is the origin for this particular disease as of now these are the open questions okay clear so this is the end of this